It was a sunny morning when the Super Bowl committee was about to announce the halftime act for the Super Bowl. In attendance was famous singers like Katy Perry, Taylor Swift, and Kanye West. Kanye West sat in smug contempt knowing he would be chosen. I will be singing the halftime show. I am the greatest living man, even greater than Garfield, thought Kanye West to himself with vanity. As committee chairman opened letter, all gasped with anticipation and sweat ran down their faces. The next Super Bowl halftime show act will be Garfield, declared the Super Bowl committee announcer with excitement. Everyone cheered and celebrated except Kanye West, who exploded into a fit of rage. What? cried out Kanye West as he bolted from his chair. This is an abomination. I am the chosen artist of the millennium. It should be me who performs, shouted Kanye West with grandiosity. You are chosen garbage man of the trash heap. Garfield is clearly the greatest man, said Super Bowl committee chairman to Kanye West. You will all pay for this in dividends, Kanye West said as he boarded his private jet. Take me home. I need to speak with my lovely Kim for advice, said Kanye West to Pilot as he sat back in his recliner chair. Kanye West's private plane flew like eagle with a wing full of fury and came to his mansion headquarters. Kanye West departed his plane to enter the comfort of his house and be greeted by his beloved. Kanye, you are back, and you must be so happy that you are singing in the Super Bowl, Kim Kardashian said, rushing to Kanye West. No, you will not believe the insults I endured. I will not be singing in the Super Bowl. Instead, it will be Garfield, spat it out Kanye West in disgust. But Kanye... You are the chosen artist of the millennium. This cannot be, said Kim Kardashian with disbelief. I know. Something must be done. I cannot let them disrespect my artistry, Kanye West said with determination. Maybe it is time to use Plan Zero, said Kim Kardashian with advice. Yes. With Plan Zero, they will be forced to obey me and honor my contributions to humanity, Kanye West said with self-glorious delusion. Meanwhile, in an all-American roadside bar, Garfield was drinking lasagna beer and relaxing to his groove. He had a big show to put on, but he wasn't sweating any worries. <laughs> Rocking out is one of my favorite things to do, along with eating lasagna, <laughs> loving ladies, and dispensing justice, Garfield thought to himself. Garfield was watching his, <laughs> his favorite show, Sexy Ladies Eating Lasagna on the Bar TV, when all of a sudden interruptions came. This program is being interrupted by an important message from Kanye West, said the TV announcer. Kanye West then appeared on screen for all to see with shades and smug, expressionless face. He was in a room which looked like a secret lab. Behind him was Beyonce, Rihanna, Taylor Swift, and Katy Perry trapped in giant clear test tubes. Ladies and gentlemen, people of the world, it is I... Kanye West, the chosen artist of the millennium, and I have come here to you with decrees. If I do not restore my proper place in the universe and make the halftime Super Bowl act, I will inject <laughs> these hot sexy ladies with Ebola, Kanye West threatened with intent. To show my seriousness, I will give a display of my capabilities, Kanye West said as he snapped his fingers. 
At his beckoning, a servant approached him. What is it, my liege? said the servant to Kanye West. My humble servant, you will now perform your greatest task and give yourself to me whole. For the glory of my name, you must be sacrificed, said Kanye West as he injected the servant with Ebola. At Kanye West's injection, the servant became to undertake a startling transformation. <laughs> cried out the servant as he body twitched and contorted in unnatural ways. Before long, his body had transformed completely into a hideous Ebola monster. Behold my power and tremble in fear, exclaimed Kanye West, pointing to his Ebola monster. You have 24 hours to give in to my demands, or else these fine specimens of ladyhood will suffer the consequences. Kanye out, said Kanye West as he switched off his broadcast. Garfield trembled with anger at the depravity he witnessed. So angry that he, without realizing it, he crushed beer glass in his hand to find sand. There is a plague called Kanye West, and the only vaccine is my fist, Garfield said with justice so great it would make children cry. Garfield cruised out of the bar like whirlwind of valor. Once outside, he boarded his custom Harley-Davidson motorcycle for riding intent. Garfield rode. He was pursued by biker warriors working for Kanye West. They wore badges with Kanye West's face and wielded guns that shot Ebola needles. I am the doctor of pain, and my diagnosis is murder, Garfield said as he took out his Desert Eagle and aimed at Ebola biker scum. <laughs> Time to cure you of your life, Garfield said as he fired a rain of bullets which tore through biker villain flesh. My storm of bullets washes the filth of villainy, Garfield said with satisfaction as he continued onward. Garfield's writing eventually came to a stop when he reached West Mansion. As Garfield approached, thunder clashed with lightning for the fate of the heavens themselves knew that a showdown of destiny was about to happen. Garfield approached the mansion gates, which were decorated with gargoyles with Kanye West's head on them. Nothing like a good tailgate, Garfield said as he punched the gate down. The only thing I will be grilling is Kanye West's face. <laughs> Garfield declared while walking to mansion. <laughs> As Garfield entered yard, he passed fountain, which had statue of Kanye West spitting water and holding a Nobel Peace Prize trophy. Tom foolery, Garfield roared <laughs> as he smashed statue with his mighty fists. Garfield then walked into a mansion to serve justice like fine wine, aged and chilled. In the mansion room, he saw decorations of decadence, paintings of Kanye West in historical and mythic scenes, fighting minotaurs, and crossing the Rubicon. <laughs> in the center was a statue of Kanye West, with a great sword standing triumphantly over a dragon. Make-believe victories for make-believe man, Garfield said with stoic truth. On the statue, Garfield saw a switch and went close for examining. On flipping the switch, the statue and surrounding floor went down like elevator to secret basement lab. Lab was made of halls <laughs> with walls and floors. Yeah. <laughs> the torment of innocence screams from this lab, Garfield said to himself knowingly. As Garfield explored and explored, he finally arrived at destination. He saw Kanye West and test tubes filled with sexy ladies in distress. <laughs> Garfield rushed in for confrontations, ready to bring down his hammer of justice on Kanye West's feeble flesh. Garfield! What are you doing in my treasured home? How dare you, cried Kanye West in disbelief. Did you think that you could kidnap ladies and insult me 
and insult with me nursery rhymes and live, Garfield said as he cracked his knuckles. I am the chosen artist of the millennium. You are nothing. Crush him, Kanye West ordered to his Ebola monster. The Ebola monster rushed Garfield with shoulder charge, but Garfield stopped him with one hand. Madness of the mind deforms flesh. Time to end the misery, poor beast, Garfield said with solemn words as he picked up Ebola monster and pile-drived him into the ground. Find peace in the abyss, Garfield said as he looked down at dead Ebola monster with sadness. How could you? I order you to leave! You are nothing! I am the future! Kanye West squealed with tantrum. You have no future, Garfield said, as he glared at Kanye West with eyes of burning lasagna. <laughs> no! I am the cho chosen artist of the millennium! I am a genius! I am unstoppable! Feel my strength, said Kanye as he ran toward Garfield in flailing motion and punched a fist at him, but it was deflected off like foam on a brick wall. Worm. You claim godhood, but have not even achieved manhood. <laughs> Feel my fist and fall to hell, Garfield said as he thrust a mighty fist at Kanye West, vaporizing him into dust. After the vaporizing of Kanye West, Kim Kardashian came out to Garfield. <laughs> Garfield, I was in love with Kanye West, but now I see what a true man is. Will you not take me and give me loving pleasure, pleaded Kim Kardashian, with wanting in her voice. I do not lay with beasts, said Garfield, as he threw his lit handgun lighter at Kim Kardashian, making her explode into flames. With another job well done, Garfield strutted over to ladies in peril and freed them of their test tube prisons. Garfield, it is too late, said Taylor Swift with sadness. Yes, it is true, Garfield. Kanye West already injected us with Ebola. We are doomed, sighed Beyonce with hopelessness. Have no fear, pussycats. My manly loving can cure all diseases. <laughs> Garfield said with a wink as he unsheathed his man blade. <laughs> oh, Garfield, you always know what to say to put ladies' mind at ease, said Katy Perry <laughs> with relief. <laughs> Garfield, you are the teacher. We are the students. Please maximize our pleasure capsule. <laughs> Rihanna said with desire. <laughs> you got it, baby bottoms. But first thing is first. You ladies must put on your own halftime show for me. <laughs> Pleasure yourselves for my amusement, Garfield said. <laughs> as he sat back with champagne glass and lasagna cigarette. <laughs> Anything for you, Garfield, Katy Perry said, as she began kissing Rihanna with all of her mouth and face. Taylor Swift and Beyonce began rubbing against each other like butter being rubbed on toast, and Garfield watched with much entertainment at the lady loving. <laughs> this is fun. But loving is not a spectator sport, Garfield said, as he jumped in for a good time. Garfield, please show us what a real artist can do with his paintbrush, moaned Beyonce with ecstasy. You know it, hotcakes. I will be making my masterpiece of pleasure. My canvas will be your bodies. My paintbrush will be my manhood, Garfield said as he prepared himself to give his special ladies time of their life. All of the lovely ladies then laid down on king-sized bed next to each other and waited patiently for Garfield to give them pleasure power of maximum force. This is what I call a babe buffet, Garfield said as he took turns 
thrusting his cosmic love katana into each of the fine females. Oh my god. Garfield, you are a man like none other on this earth. You make me want to write songs about you, Taylor Swift whinnied with pleasure. Right now, the only lyrics you will be singing is moans of satisfaction, Garfield said to his songbirds as he pleasured with force of a bull and grace of a gazelle. The loving went on for hours, but what seemed like moments as Garfield spread his loving on his darling divas with the expertise of a, of a master. <laughs> The ladies sweat with love and shed tears of pleasure as they received their loving like mailbox receiving letters, eager and full of pride. After lovemaking, the ladies felt renewed. Garfield, it is a miracle! We are cured of Ebola! exclaimed Katy Perry with joy. I told you. The only vaccine you need is here, Garfield said, pointing down at his pants. Garfield, can you not love us more? We are hungry, and you are main meal of manhood, said Beyonce, licking her lips. Oh no. It is almost time for Super Bowl halftime, Garfield said with surprise at seeing the time. Garfield, you will never reach the Super Bowl in time. We are too far away, sighed Taylor Swift with worry. No fears, my sexy stars. Behold, Garfield reassured ladies. Garfield put down two mighty fingers in his mouth and whistled a mighty whistle, and a familiar voice was heard by all. Amako! It was John Arbuckle riding a fighter jet over the mansion. Garfield, hurry on out! We have to hurry to the Super Bowl halftime to rock out and melt faces, John Arbuckle said in loudspeaker. <laughs> this is my ride. I have to jet. I will catch you saucy sirens later, Garfield said coolly, with a wink as he left mansion to board jet. There is the chosen real man of the millennium swooned, swooned rihanna with longing as she watched garfield leave garfield boarded jet and with john arbuckle flew to super bowl stadium where the super bowl was being played when they arrived they braked to the jet yeah and disembarked onto halftime stage where the rest of the band was waiting for them the crowd went into hysterics on seeing Garfield and John Arbuckle arrive on stage. Even Patriots and Seahawks lost their cool when seeing their heroes in the flesh. Garfield took out his mic, and John Arbuckle took out his flaming lasagna electric guitar as they prepared to address audience. Hello everyone here at Super Bowl Stadium. For your listening pleasure, here is hot new song off our new EP titled lonely lasagna lover keep hold of your faces so they are not melted garfield said as he prepared to rock stadium off its roof mist machines went off and laser lights shot forth from stage the song started with cool keyboard intro and was joined by john arbuckle's chords of power for heavy metal rocking and garfield began to sign with awesome manly voice babe Always thinking about you, don't know anymore what to do. Walking alone, filled with doubt, wanna lick you inside and out. You're my lonely lasagna lover. A girl like you, there is no other. I'll be on you like big brother because you are my lonely lasagna lover <laughs> sugar your lips make me hot i want to give you everything i got like fresh lasagna you're soft and wet kneel down and be my teacher's pet you're my lonely lasagna lover in your legs i want to go undercover 
I want to love you over and over because you are my lasagna, <laughs> lasagna lover. And John Arbuckle then began shredding with the precision of a surgeon and the power of a comet. Sparks and flames coming out of his guitar. In the audience, Garfield saw a nerdy girl with glasses. He waved his hand at her and, using the power of metal, turned her into a cool rocker chick with tight-fitting Garfield tank top. After electric solo, Garfield began singing again. You're spicy and hot like tomato sauce, but in the bedroom I am the boss. I am a starving man, hungry for love. Our bodies fit together like a glove. You're my lonely lasagna lover. I can never live with another. Inside my thoughts, you always hover because you are my lonely lasagna lover. <laughs> oh my fucking god, what's wrong with me? Uh, <clears throat> yeah. After rocking performance, audience went into ecstatic celebration and applauded with sounds of a hurricane fighting an earthquake. Both the Patriots and Seahawks cried at the power they witnessed, humbled and awed. I think there is no doubt here. The true winner of the Super Bowl and the new owner of the Super Bowl trophy is Garfield, declared Super Bowl official, handing trophy to Garfield. Thank you. I will put this in my collection, Garfield said calmly as he took trophy. <laughs> as Garfield descended stage, ready to leave both Patriots and Seahawks, cheerleaders approached him with desire in their eyes. Garfield, today was a life-changing day. We had thought what man was, but we lived a lie. Please take all of us and show us what a real man can do said Patriot's head cheerleader with revelation. Yes, Garfield, please tutor us on the ways of loving, said head cheer Seahawks cheerleader with admiration of Garfield's muscles. Okay, chickies, but remember, the bedroom is my field, and on it I am coach and quarterback, Garfield said as he put his arms around cheerleaders. As Garfield led his cheerleading chickies to the locker room, he was approached by another fine, sexy piece of woman. <laughs> it was Giselle Bunchen. <laughs> what? Garfield, may I please join you for your lessons? On the football field, Tom Brady may be an all-star, but in the bedroom, he is just a water boy, <laughs> said Giselle Bunchen with sultry seduction. <laughs> Okay, my blonde babe. I will score a touchdown in your end zone, Garfield said with flirtations. I will receive any pass you give me, Giselle Bunchen said with swooning. Then Garfield led ladies to the locker room where he can show them what a pro athlete can really do. Garfield sent his pleasure power through ladies like a spiraling football being sent through time and space and scoring a touchdown in the cosmosphere. He then surged his loving through their lady holes, <laughs> filling their bodies with erotic ecstasy. The end dot 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 question mark. Author's note, please have a happy and safe Super Bowl. Everyone wins if we all have fun. Oh.